Good evening. So, today is all about plumbing. I'm going to try and get my uh, water water thing, the tap. I'm going to try and get the tap working, number one. And also plumbing the uh, waste pipe for the sink. I'm no plumber, I'm no expert, so this is just made up as I go along, but the sink came with this U-bend piece here, that goes into the bottom of the sink, that way around, and then that thing is going to go to the, well to the ground actually, I don't know if, I, if I've even been saying in the last video, this is getting plumbed to ground. No grey water tank or any of that. Didn't have that in my old van. I'm just having it go straight out. I don't pour anything particularly hazardous out. And if I do, it's just going onto concrete. And I don't go to campsites and empty shit down there and stuff. So argue amongst yourselves if you think that's good or not. I don't particularly care right now. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I can only buy this in like a two meter length or something. Oh, yeah, whatever that is. Seven foot length. But I got this end here which goes onto there and holds that into there roughly it's not ideal but I've got in my other bag of magic now I bought this Sikaflex anyway because uh, I'm going to do the skylight this week but I've got this pipe that's going to go into the freshwater tank and out 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 to the pump I've got this is my tap and then I've got these pipes here which go from that onto there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the ends off these and one end's going to go to the pump tap and the other end is going to get blanked off oh shit no don't no, no. one end is going to get blanked off so that water cannot pour out of it uh, and the other end is going to go to the pump so when I open it, hopefully it'll go. So so these are the other things that I've got. I've got this. Now, I don't really know if I really need this. I don't think this is an essential item. However, not impressed Jeff gave it to me. Uh, so I'm gonna try and use it. I don't think that the fittings are going to fit the pipes that I've got but if I can fit it I will fit it but if not we'll just go with this um, water pump and it's a pressure switch so that when I open the tap it goes <laughs> without having to have a switch it is its own switch I hope I've explained that right so at least this is going on maybe that accumulator and hopefully that will be easy plumbing. I don't have many tools with me, as you probably imagine. I am off grid. I am out in the secret location where I fitted the deck into my old van. When I say secret, I'm next to train line outside BNQ. But the reason why I'm doing it outside BNQ is if I need anything, BNQ is right there. Anyway, rough plan is. In this small gap behind the seat, I am going to come out of the back of the cupboard with that pipe and go down into here, which is through the floor, which is exactly the same as it was in the other van, and it worked well. So I'm going to stick with what I know. I think I'm going to stick with what I know. Um, drill the hole straight down. That pipe goes out, seal it in. It shouldn't have a problem. It also means I can mount things like this on the back of there, so it's not inside. I might even mount it up there actually because it's less vibrate there. Yeah, that might work better. Better. -er. As I said in a previous video, I've got this 25 litre tank that is in my fresh water. It's slightly smaller than the one I had in the last van. 
but it fits there so I'm gonna stick with it so I'll drill a hole in the top this out actually it's a snug fit which is the good thing about it I'll drill a hole in the top there I'll put that I'll put this pipe through there into that and then hopefully it will be all good so I've just drilled a hole for the waste pipe the waste pipe is going to come out there like I said, I'm going to drill a hole straight through there. So drilling that hole was hard work, especially when I was using my impact driver. There's that on it. And it's going through wood and the metal. Uh, but, I've got a hole through there now. I might need to do some jiggery pokery to make the pipe fit down there. But I'll get it down there one way or another. Because I'm stubborn and determined. got these pipes here which go into the bottom of that tap I'm just going to do this roughly so I can give you an example that goes in there like that however there's two of them so for hot and for cold now I'm only having one supply which is cold because I've never needed a hot tap in the old time I've needed it I've been in the van so that's how they stand however one of these needs to be capped off so what I'm going to do is cut it there uh, wind a bolt into it and a jubilee clip and that will be capped off the other side I'm going to chop this end off further down and that is 10mm internal diameter as far as I'm aware which does fit directly onto the pump hopefully a jubilee clip it now if that all works all comes together great I'll be an happy lad there's a chance it ain't gonna happen like that. I'm crossing my fingers. Well, that's one off. So that's the one I'm gonna wind the bolt into. But that pipe does fit over there which is a double bonus so if I cut this one off down here <sighs> easier said than done there you go that is exposed is that Joe's van making that noise? So the basic setup is kind of done. I'm gonna sneeze. Achoo! I'll pin all this back a little bit uh, at a later date, but that's essentially it. That's the tap coming out of the back of the sink unit into the pump. That pipe goes along back into the unit into the uh, fresh water tank. That is the drain sealed it in I just we need to wait for that to seal better -er. in the dark you can see that's where the pipe comes in it's gonna go into this uh, that's where the plumbing goes out hopefully all this is gonna be watertight all that straight away but now I've got to do some electronic work uh, and start putting wires into Spunky's fancy fuse board it's probably not gonna be happy with that Uncle Spunky did such a brilliant job of these electrics that even an idiot like me can't fail to put that wire there and that wire there and that has made a complete circuit all the way to the front all right I'm going to show you the front but just bear with me because I've not got any electrical tape so here's the temporary wiring setup. The pump is wired up there. Obviously, that is not a legitimate connection, and neither is that one there. I need to get that soldered. Uh, well, I need to get tied it up first. But they're the cables that were pulled through. Um, I'm going to go get some tape to tape them up now. Uh, but I will tidy all these wires up once I know that everything's working. I don't want to do it too much. 
I don't want to tidy up too much because I want to make sure that everything is hunky dory with this before we do that. It's been a frustrating job this, I'm not going to lie, uh, but I think it's working and I did just scream fuck off massively loud, as loud as I could actually in B&Q car park when my camera froze during that last clip. That's, that's the full extent of my rage, that's as far as it's going to go, I'm back now, I'm, I'm, I'm calm. But, again before anybody complains, I appreciate that it's dark, but that's just the way I like it. There's actually no lights on in the van, but... <laughs> and hopefully, somewhere in there, there is... I can pull the plug. There should be no leaks under here. No leaks. No leaks, no leaks. Um, I need to clear all the sawdust out. Clear all the sawdust out, make it all nice and tidy inside. So I ex successfully did some shit hot Super Mario Brothers fucking plumbing and some electric stuff, electric trickery, elastic trickery as well, all in one day. And I've now got plumbing, actual, actual tap, actual drainage. All from sideboard. That's a massive job that I've been sweating on a little bit. Done. Now I can crack on with the roof light, which is gonna be amazing. I can't wait to get that thing in. The thing is massive. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate everybody's support during this build series. Um, I hope you look forward to the next one. I hope you uh, have enjoyed following along. There's lots of links in my bio to things that you can help with or, or um, if you need to contact me or anything like that. Um, if you go to my website, limitedtravel.com, you'll find the best coffee on that website and uh, also other kinds of merch as well which are helping me to fund this build in its entirety because um, I'm not made of money and I've already spent I'm now skint basically everything else has got to be on a shoestring <laughs> so go buy coffee thanks I'll see you soon love you all bye Felicia